What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my pal Alex and Feisty Pants. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Alex's Toy Show. This is Raw Hell in a Cell pay per view picks. Now, Preston Ritchie has challenged me to a contest to see who gets how many right between the two of us. So I really need to pay a little bit more attention to what's going on here. The kickoff show is going to be Cedric Alexander, Lynn Dorado, and Sinkara versus Tony Nice and these two other guys. Uh, it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be faces. Uh, I'm going to write this down. Picking these guys to win right here. Faces. Um, Bailey versus Dana Brooke. I like what they're doing with Dana Brooke lately, and I think she's going to get the win over this. Now, I love Bailey to death. Um, I do. You know, I, I'm a hugger. I should have my hugger shirt on while I'm doing this pick, but I don't. It's in the it's in the closet, hanging up with the laundry. Um, I I don't know. I, I I think Bailey's a little hurt with her shoulder. You know, she keeps favoring the shoulder. It's probably going to be a really good match. It's probably going to go. You know, back and forth a little bit in each favor. But I think in the end, Dana Brooke is going to get the win. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to write my... my uh, I'm going to write my picks down here. Faces, Dana Brooke. All right. Just so Preston knows. Uh, Enzo and Cass versus uh, Gallows and Anderson. These guys... I Nobody takes these guys seriously. I don't care... How tan they oil themselves up. You ever look at them? Like when it, when, who's the taller one? Luke Gallows? When he comes out, like his face is like, you know, like, like a tan white, but his arms are like tan brown. It's like, what? Did you miss a session? Um, Enzo and Chaos, I feel, who saw on Raw when they had the imaginary microphone? That was hilarious. It was hilarious. And it was talented, and it's it's a symbol of how over they are in this company. Um, I'm picking them to go over at Gallows and Anderson because they suck. They they no, I don't take them seriously. I don't know anybody that does. They were supposed to be this big deal, and and they they're nothing. They're just not, their finisher move is not even that good. It's oh, I'm gonna hold them up by the feet, and you, and we'll just go down, and that'll be the finisher. Maybe in Japan that works, because, I don't know, for whatever reason. Uh, let's see. Okay, now it comes to the titles. Um, TJ Perkins and Chaka, <laughs> our man Brian Kendrick. I am going to take TJ Perkins, because nobody takes Chaka seriously. I don't. Um, I, I'm sure they brought him back to be, you know... Um, to be this big representation in the, um, you know, in the cruiserweight division. But, but I mean, you know, TJ Perkins, <laughs> he's, he's, you know, he's young. He's got the, the haircut going for himself. He's got the whole video game image that uh, a tax slug can't stand. And, you know, everything he says is like, hold on, rewind it back or pause, you know, pause the game or something. You know, it's like, this is a win and there's no extra lives and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it's funny, but, you know, I don't know. But uh, TJ Perkins on that. Um, I just I just don't think Brian Kendrick have, has enough charisma. Um, I think there's better heels, more talented heels, like these other guys in the, in the six-man tag on the kickoff show. Could Brian Kendrick, you know, continue to wrestle? Sure. Is he going to be champ? I don't think so. Uh, let's see. That brings us to... Oh, this brings us to New Day versus Cesaro and Sheamus. Okay. 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 New Day has the streak going. They're out to reach... They're going for Demolition's record. Demolition holds the record for longest reigning ta tag team titles. I'm pretty sure it's Demolition. Like some ungodly amount of days. It's like 400 and something days. Um, New Day is getting up there. But Cesaro and Sheamus, I mean, they have this ridiculous best of seven match, right? Series. Uh, Sheamus has just about crushed Cesaro. Then Cesaro comes back and wins it, f you know, four games in a row. Four matches in a row. Then they, you know, he's like, okay, where's my title shot? They turn them into a tag team. 
would they take the tag titles off New Day just to say Cesaro and Sheamus are over? You know, as a, as a tag... The, Sheamus is, like, more annoying than, than like, Shaka Khan here and Giles and Anderson combined. I, I can't... This is something stupid that the WWE would do, I feel, is to have Cesaro and Sheamus go over as tag title and defeat New Day. And then there's New Day's streak up the river. And I'm like, would they do that? Yeah, yeah, they would. But I'm going to pick New Day because... Because I can't, I just, I would stop watching Raw. Uh, let's see. Roman Reigns and Rusev. Roman Reigns, that's, that's an easy, that's an easy defense right there. Roman Reigns is going to hang on to that. Uh, Kevin Owens and R Seth Rollins. Wow. Wow. I don't know. This is, this is probably the toughest match to pick on the whole card. I like Kevin Owens as a champ. I like him and Jericho going back and forth. Um, I think that's kind of I think that's kind of funny, and I think it's coming. I think it's coming to an end though, you know. And I I think Rollins is now seen as like the you know the crowd favorite of sorts, you know. So I don't. Oh, this is a this is such a tough one to pick. I, I want to see I want to see Kevin Owens reign a little longer, but I think I think Seth Rollins is coming back here. All right, we're gonna skip this one and we're gonna go to the girls. The girls, this is an easy pick. Sasha is hanging on to this. Now, are they going to be the main event? I certainly hope not. If it's the second to last match, fine. If they're the main event. Not the end of the world, but I mean, what does that say about your universal title? What does that say about Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins? I mean, yeah, the ladies' um, title match in the cage. It's the first time the ladies are ever in the cage. Perfect perfect choices would be Sasha Banks and Charlotte because they are just, you know, they are they are the two that are probably best talented in, in among both shows, I would have to say. Um... But I don't. I don't think their main event and hell in a cell. You know what I'm saying? I th I I think they they gotta be second to last match. Unless they, I but you know if they put them at main event, that's saying something. You know, like MLB. If you watch MLB Network, they they have that one segment at the end of the show called "Say Something." Sasha Banks and Charlotte main eventing hell in a cell. That would be saying something. <laughs> Borrowed your skit, guys. I love it. Love the show. Um, let's see. So, Sasha Banks. I'm picking Sasha Banks to retain. And that brings us back to Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins. I'm going Seth Rollins. There it is. Seth Rollins. Hold on. Let me write it down, Preston. Stand by, Preston. Stand by. All right. Uh, pretty sure I got everybody. Okay, here it is. Everybody get in on this. F faces in the kickoff match. Dana Brooke over Bailey. Enzo and Cass over the two jerks. TJ Perkins over Chaka. New Day. New Day uh, defends against Cesaro and Sheamus. Roman Reigns over Rusev. I don't care how hot Lana is. Roman Reigns over Rusev. Uh, what do we got here? Sasha Banks defeats is going to retain... And she's going to defeat Charlotte in the cage. And it's going to be a great match. You better friggin' believe it's going to be a great match. It's probably going to be the best match of the night in the cage. I mean, not taking anything away from Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens. But I mean, these two girls, when I tell you they put on a match, you know, it's probably not going to involve the cage very much. I would be very surprised to see... You know what? Knowing them, I wouldn't be surprised at all. But it's probably going to be one of the better matches of the night, if not the best match of the night. Um, could there be anybody else uh, showing up? I mean, who's... I mean, there's not going to be anything with uh, Brock Lesnar and Goldberg. I mean, they're saving that, I think, completely for Survivor Series. Um, 
I thought about some kind of interference from Jericho, you know, in the Kevin Owens Seth Rollins match. If there is, I think it's going to backfire on Kevin Owens and maybe give Seth Rollins the win or help him get the win or put the match a little bit more in his favor. Bottom line, Seth Rollins is going to win that match. All right, Preston, we'll see. We'll see what's what. Uh, reaction video after Helen's Cell, and it's going to be great.